Hey, what's up, DIYers? It's Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking computers today and viruses slash malware, adware. If you have that on your computer, we're going to show you what it is and how to remove it. You do not want that on your computer. Let's take a look. All right, here we are on the computer. And the first thing I want to do is talk about what adware malware really is. And as you can see right here, adware, it is intended to trick you into buying unwanted products or services. This type of malicious software displays advertising materials on your Mac. Remove these to avoid seeing commercial annoyances on your system. Select and remove found threats using Clean My Mac X or reveal them in Finder for manual review and deletion. And as you can see right here, adware, one threat. And I just did a malware removal scan within the Clean My Mac X software. And I do this once a week. And this is what it found. Filming videos, editing videos, and cruising the web. I had no idea that this malware was on my computer. So again, I've got Clean My Mac X software. And I do a smart scan, which is right here once a week. Some people do it once a day. That's all personal preference. However, now that we understand what adware is, which is a threat to your computer, now let's talk about the two ways to remove it. Number one, manual removal, as you see right here. And if you want our honest opinion, if you are not extremely tech savvy and understand coding and programming, the manual removal process can be extremely confusing, annoying, and frustrating. Because what can happen is you can go into your files and begin searching for the threats or malware, and it may not be titled adware. It may be titled something different, which in return may lead you to unfortunately deleting very important system files that the computer needs to operate properly. And at the same time, if you accidentally delete those important files, chances are you're leaving adware on the system to allow it to do what it was designed and programmed to do, which again is not what you want on your computer. So the second option, which we recommend, is purchasing the Clean My Mac X software. And at the time of filming right now, there's two ways to purchase this. Number one, you can pay annually or once a year. And if I remember correctly, I think it's $49 a year. Or you've got the second option of paying a one-time fee of $89. And after paying that one-time fee, you've got this software for the life of your computer, which is the route we took. So if you go that route and you buy the software, what you do next is you download it and open it up on your computer. On the left-hand side, you've got a couple options. We'll start with the top one, which is Smart Scan. You'll select that, come down here, and by one push of the button where it says Scan, the software will go through your entire computer, every single file, every single photo, every single video, every single app, every single thing of everything, if that makes sense, and pull out any and all threats, which include malware and viruses. And after about a minute of scan or so, it will show any and all threats and viruses on the screen and allow you to remove it by selecting this button here. And again, in our opinion, going the automatic route as opposed to the manual route alleviates any and all confusion, annoyance, and frustration. It is definitely the way to go, in our opinion. And again, once you buy the software, you can do a smart scan once a day, once a week, or once a month. It's totally up to you. So again, that's what we wanted to show you in this video. And in the event that you have search marquees taking full control of your web browser, that is a virus. You want that off your computer immediately. So again, if you've got that on your computer, definitely check out the link scrolling above. It will show you how to remove it. And the steps are not too different than what we covered in this video, but we'll also explain what Search Marquise is and why you don't want it on your computer. So again, we hope this helps. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That'd be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.